a quick and stylistic fire in After Effects. Let's begin. Okay, so before we jump into After Effects, let's build it. Here you can see I have drawn these three simple sketches and as always it's just to get the idea from my head to a paper. So please do not skip this sketching your ideas part, it's really important. So I fired up Illustrator and built this simple design from my rough sketches. It was so simple that I didn't even need to import any rough drawings in Illustrator. So we got the fire base with a simple shape and some lines over them to create a pattern. Then we got the actual fire shape and last we got this fire line layer which is an actual stroke not a shape. Cause we're gonna be converting this into shape layers it's gonna be much easier to manipulate its points there. So I have imported this illustrator file in After Effects into its own new comp. I selected both the fire stroke and solid layers, then went to layers, create, create shapes from vector layers. And this will turn both of these vector layers into shape layers. Now the idea is to animate these pointy points and loop them over time. So I selected the fire strokes layers point and animated its position. Now if I loop it using the usual loop out expression, you can see it's not working. It's because path points position data, it's really not translating into a transform position data. So without going into too much expression, the easy solution is to parent them to a null and animate that null's position. So I have selected the path, then went to windows, create nulls from path and click on point follow nulls. This will create a whole bunch of nulls which are attached with each point. After this I started isolating the points I needed. We only need just the upper pointy ones. After this I started animating each point and try to maintain the angle of the close as much as possible. I just added a simple loop out expression to the nulls positions and it's done. I repeated this entire process for the fire solid shape layer and after a RAM preview this is what we got. Now the core part of this tutorial is done. The next part is all about stylizing it. Okay, so the first issue is there is a ton of null layers here. And if I need to duplicate this, I need to duplicate the entire set of nulls with it. Then if I need to move this shape layer, I can't because it's controlled by the nulls. Yes, I can add and transform and change some of the value, but not all of it. So an easy solution is to pre-comp both of these elements into their own pre-compositions. And that's what I did. I pre-comped both of the base and the stroke layer into their own pre-comps. Once done, I went inside the Firebase pre-comp and dragged in this animated texture over it. I changed its position, scale and rotation then added it to the base using the preserve underlying transparency button. I also threw in a fill effect to change its color and later added a curve effect to modify its alpha so it's not too dominating. Back in the main comp, I added a tint effect to change the color of the fire base. After this, I added a roughen edges to the fire base with a really small border value. Then copied this effect over the stroke layer with even more smaller border value. This will make both of these elements a bit uneven and grungy. After this, I created a tiny triangle with a shape layer. I animated its position, then modified its path. I also animated its scale 
so it kind of dies when it reaches its final position. Once done, I duplicated it and added the transform effect and changed its position value. I kept on duplicating this layer and started changing the transform effects position value on each layer. Once happy, I offsetted them and pre-comped them into their own composition and also made sure to trim the comp so it doesn't need to go for too long. Now back in the main comp, I duplicated this particle comp then offsetted this in the timeline a bit. Now if you take a RAM preview, you can see how the particles are adding those extra details in this fire. For the final look, I added a posterized time effect set to 12 on an adjustment layer. Then on another adjustment layer, I added some deep glow and masked it just over the fire. And it's done. So this is how you can create this stylistic simple fire animation in After Effects. There are so many variations you can do once you get the base animation done. So experiment with different colors, texture and other stuffs to create something unique of your own design. As always, you can grab the project file for this tutorial on my Gumroad page. Link is in the description. As always, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I would love to answer them all. A like to this video and a sub to the channel will be highly appreciated. Take care of yourself and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye guys.